Hey, good evening. It's John. I'm going to play Immaculate Grid. I'm uh, going after that low rarity score and that low time all at once. Uh, well, not at once. I'd do one, then the other. Um, I think I had a pretty good game yesterday. I think I was under a minute and had 11 rarity score, which is like the right combination. It's a good combination. Let's see if I can improve upon it. But uh, without further ado, sharing my screen and hit ref. Fresh and go at the same time. All right. Uh, Gary Guide books. Cal Eldred. 21 season. How about Chris Carpenter? Um, Jimmy Fox works. That might be really rare, actually. Um, let's go Kevin Seitzer, Zito, and then Ferguson Jenkins is in the Hall of Fame. That was kind of a long name, though. Fergie Jenkins? Did I pick the wrong one? There we go. All right, let's get Yount and Bob Gibson. Oh, got to get the right one, though. One. All right. 59 seconds, 99 rarity score. I think I was 59. I think I it's showing a minute one, but I think I was 59 when I finished. With uh well Bob Gibson only takes I guess there's lots of 20 game winners in the Hall of Fame, so that's not a surprise. Yount's really the the driver there. Eldred, Gaetti, even Fox here, Seitzer. I might have wasted some really low rarity scores on these guys. Um Chris Carpenter out here at 14%. Zero at 29%. All right. Well, we'll stop and reshare. I might see how uh let's see if I can improve on those uh uh those time those scores though for uh for some of these at least. Uh, let's see. For the Cardinals and Brewers. How about Cy Young winner Pete Vukovic? He's 5%. Maybe I would have been better off maybe with Matheny. I'm surprised he's all the way up there. He was uh in the Ted Simmons. I, I assume Simmons is going to be pretty high. Daryl Porter also would have worked. Uh, Fernando Vina would have worked. There are plenty of options. Um, let's see, what do we think of maybe Jason Kendall? Well, I, I just thought of a better one, actually. Don Larson. Don Larson played for both teams. That's a much better one, 0.04. I think Kendall probably would have been in the 1% range. Um... I think uh, Grover Alexander had a 20 win season in 1926 with the Cardinals. Same year, he closed out the World Series by coming in likely after a few adult beverages, or at least the after effects of said adult beverages, and uh, got <laughs> had Babe Ruth get caught stealing to end the series. I think he was a 20 game winner that year for the Cardinals. He was, and he takes less than 1%. Um, how about my my guy Keith Ginter? Point two. That's starting to creep up in popularity. Maybe people are actually watching these things. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I, I see the analytics. It's like a couple hundred per episode. So, um, let's see Hall of Famers, twenty win seasons. I wonder if there's any like sneaky surprises we could throw out. Get like a Dizzy Dean or a Carl Hubble. You can think earlier. You can go. I think Her Penick will work. Maybe Jack Chesbo, forty game winner. So Jack Chesbo does. I know he's in the Hall of Fame. Point five. It's pretty good. Let's see Brewers Hall of Famers. Um, so I've already, I, I feel like I've botched the Brewers category with Vukovic. Like I couldn't come up with anyone else. 
Well, I did. I came with the Eldred, and he was less than one percent. And then I, I thought Vukovic would be a lot more rare. Um, so Hall of Famers for the Brewers. Um, Robin Yount, Paul Molitor are your main ones. Um, Raleigh Fingers as well. Henry Aaron will work. Don Sutton works. Trevor Hoffman works. And Ted Simmons works, and he works for, for the top center. Simmons is a recent inductee. I'm trying to think. Like Hoffman was only there for a couple of years, but he's the most recent player to play for the Brewers. Simmons is the most recent person inducted in the Hall of Fame, but the rest and then Sutton Sutton might actually be the best bet. Sutton was inducted in the Hall of Fame in the 90s. He only played for the Brewers for a couple of years, but he was on the 82 team. He does not have his number retired. Molitor, Fingers, Yount, and Aaron all do. Interesting selection. I wonder how this will shape out, but I'm going to go with Sutton. Takes four percent. Okay, maybe that's the best. Um, let's see. I guess we can go with our guy Bobby Chance here. Twenty-four game winner, nineteen fifty-two. And then let's see here. Any Cubs Hall of Famer? Uh, Cap Anson works. Um, Jimmy Fox works. Although I already used him, so I shouldn't use him again. Richie Ashburn will work. Um, I think Ticker, Evers, and Chance all work. Not sure how I feel about them. That's a fairly famous, you know, poem or rhyme or whatever you want to say. Uh, Hack Wilson, be another option. Rogers Hornsby will work. Uh, Kiki Keeler will work. I'm going to go with him. Goes 0.5, pretty good. And then let's see, Cubs, Cardinals, Lou Brock, uh, Ernie Broglio, I think is, is how you say his name. He was traded for Lou Brock. Um, that might by itself garner a little bit of a little bit of fame. Uh, Jason Marquis will work. Um, John Lackey will work, right? I think Lackey works. Um, pretty sure Hayward will work. Um, which way do I want to go? There's got to be someone earlier that'll. Oh, uh, Cle uh, Alexander would have worked. Hornsby works. Um, not sure if Hornsby's maybe a little too popular. Um, yeah, let's try Hornsby. Two percent. All right, so I end up with a rarity score of. 13 there were definitely better people than the of the 325 potential options um let's see colton wong leading the way which means i mean 34 percent vukovic is in there raleigh fingers fun fact was in that trade uh he came over from the padres but it was a three-way deal um i think six still lascano ends up going from the brewers to the padres Forget who exactly the Cardinals get, but the Brewers get Ted Simmons, Pete Vukovic, and then Raleigh Fingers from the Padres. Um, Lester leading the way with 14% over here. All right, so under a minute, rarity score 13. Vukovic is the surprising one. What are some better ones? I mean, Eldred, obviously better. Um. Kyle Los, that seems kind of recent. John Axford, that's right. He uh, made an appearance, did not realize Chuck Carr played for uh, St. Louis, did know Royce Clayton would have worked, so maybe that was a miss. Just sort of scanning these folks. Ron Valone, I knew that. I looked at Ron Valone's whole career. Fernando Vina, Jamie Wright's been mentioned in the comments a few times. 
All right, I'll take a thirteen, even with the uh, with with Vukovic, kind of a kind of a stinker. I should have realized a Cy Young winner for the Brewers' only ever World Series appearance team, who lost the Cardinals, um, after having been traded to the Brewers from the Cardinals, in a trade involving Ted Simmons, was going to be somewhat popular. I should have anticipated that, so you know, uh, should have thought of that. Oh well. Um, other than that, pretty good game. I'm happy with under a minute. I'm happy with 13. Hope you all have a great rest of your day and we'll be back at it tomorrow. Peace.